tonight. Two veterans talk lockdown. I'm with CJ from CJ Outdoors today, and we are going to talk about the lockdown of 2020. CJ, how's the lockdown been for you, and what are your thoughts about lockdowns as a way to control a viral outbreak? Uh, it definitely seems like uh, right off the bat, it was uh, a pretty, uh, pretty well planned event. Um, seems like for the most part, it was actually implemented pretty well. And now that things are seem like they're going back to normal a little bit, um, it'd be nice to see what we will, uh, what will the outcome be if we will actually go back to how it was before, or if there's a new way of going about life. So there's a lot of talk about new normal um, and how our society is changing because of this outbreak. Do you think that's going to have a lasting effect, or do you think we'll be back to normal, the the old normal? I, I I can't see us actually going back to the old normal. I can see to a point you're gonna have a lot of people out there that are still gonna be uh, uh, worried about um, the outbreak coming back. You're gonna be worried about uh, prevention for it, and uh, of course there's the fear mongering going out there that's still gonna be within uh, everybody's mind. Uh, to a point, you know, we are kind of a, a complacent animal, and I can see us kind of sliding back. Um, you know, I myself caught myself a couple of times taking off my mask and walking into a building going, oh, I got to put my mask on. So even, you know, I'm at fault that bad. And I can see other people too, you know, they're starting to get um, uh, kind of tired of wearing the mask. And uh, everybody's ready to kind of like ditch it so far. There's been a couple of theories. One, that this was made in a lab in China, maybe even an intentional release. Others, that it was released or planned for political purposes by the left. Uh, do you have thoughts on that? And for you viewers out there, if you have thoughts on that, be sure to put your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think as well. What do you think, CJ? Anything is possible, and it definitely sounds plausible. It seems to me, the political aspect of this seems to be very opportunistic, as if there was a contingency plan in place, and by golly, this looks like a great time to do it. So that, that would, to me, account for the, organizi the organized appearance of it all. But it, it seems highly probable, or, or at least possible, that it was a lab, a lab created virus, maybe released intentionally in the Hong Kong riots or something like that. There's no proof of that. Uh, if it were a lab virus, the fact that it's very easily transmittable, gets people really sick, too sick to work for a while, but doesn't kill people, it incapacitates your workforce, but does not kill off the workforce. That seems to me to be a almost perfect biological weapon. From, uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely does sound like a, a, a very uh, very tempting biological weapon. You're able to um, uh, deploy it into uh, the masses, get everybody sick, and uh, as you see what, what's going on with us right now, our economy is, uh, is shot. Businesses are either not coming back or they're coming back in like a 20% capacity. So it definitely has affected us and uh, it, it's going to be some long-term uh, uh, implications of damage due to it. Do you think, and this is a personal opinion question, again, people will have opinions, share them in the comments. Do you think that the economic damage was worth the lockdown? Mm -hmm. Was the safety worth the price we paid? <sighs> How can you put a real price on life? That's that's a tough question, and that's uh, that that's that's something that I think out of all this will definitely be uh, pondered uh, heavily over is um, economy versus versus life. Was this really worth it? Was it was it not? Two veterans talks is a feature we're going to be doing from time to time. These are short videos; they're quick. The idea is just to get some thoughts on the table, discuss current events or philosophy things that are going on and get the conversations rolling thank you for watching be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and leave your comments and share and we'll see you again outside see you later guys